So I'm very sorry that the beginning of this lecture is, of this section is missing. The uh, iPad had a brain fart. I'm just going to continue. We're solving this for PT, the total pressure. So then we're going to divide by, let's just call that fractional composition, on both sides. So the fractional composition cancels out. P total will equal the partial pressure of the oxygen divided by the fractional composition of the oxygen. They told us that the partial pressure that we want is 0.21 atmospheres. The, fra the uh, percentage is 5. What is that as a fraction? 0 0.05. Sometimes students just say 0.5. Always good to double check things on your calculator. 0 0.05. So 0.21 divided by 0.05, 4.2. So that means that the total pressure needs to be 4.2 atmospheres. Any questions? This is what we're going to do in lab today. We're going to collect a gas through water. Um, we're going to react a metal, um, I think, with hydrochloric acid, and we're going to collect the gas by bubbling it through water and collecting it up here. But before the gas started to be generated, this container was completely full of water. The gas will bubble through here and displace some of the water, and that way we can trap the, the hydrogen that's being generated. But up here, we do not have just the hydrogen gas. We also have water vapor, because water evaporates. And that's called the vapor pressure of water, and we'll talk more about that later. But the partial pressure is called the vapor pressure of water, and that depends only on the temperature of the water. So the, if we know the temperature of the water, could we measure that? Sure, we've got thermometers. Just stick a thermometer in the water. Oh, it's 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, then there's a table that we can look at. Look at, here it is, which tells us at different temperatures, this is the pressure that the water will have. This one gives it in millimeters of mercury. So if we collect hydrogen gas over water and the total pressure is 7.58 millimeters of mercury, the temperature is 25. What's the partial pressure of the hydrogen gas? This is one of those Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure problems, where the total pressure is the pressure from each gas. So the total pressure is going to equal, what, what gases do we have here? We've got hydrogen, and any time it says collected over water, you will also have water vapor plus pH2O. They give us the total pressure. They're asking for the pressure of the hydrogen gas. This one, they're not going to give you. They're going to give you the temperature and send you to a table to go look it up. We want this pressure of H2. The pressure of the hydrogen gas will equal the total pressure minus the pressure of the water. So the total pressure was 7, oops, 758, not tor, although it ends up being the same thing, millimeters of mercury. Looking at the table, what's the partial pressure of the water? Here's the temperature, 23.8, right? So we're going to subtract 23.8 millimeters of mercury. 758 minus 23.8. So
So the pressure of the hydrogen then is 734 millimeters of mercury. In that container are two gases. The pressure of each of them adds to the total. If we know the total pressure and the pressure of one, we can find the pressure of the other. Any questions? I want to know why the pointer's still up there when my, I'm not touching the screen. We don't know the answer to that.